Hi, Moglets. So th this video was originally supposed to just be some Layla summons, and we are going to be getting to that, but I wanted to talk about something else first. I thought now would be a, as appropriate of a time as any as we are not streaming these summons where we usually do. I mean, it's halfway because these aren't going to be huge summons or anything. We're essentially just trying to get one Layla. Since the five stars aren't really to my interest, I just want a Layla. Hopefully we'll have better luck than with Dory, but I digress. I wanted to talk about Twitch. I give up on Twitch, full stop. I'm never going to be streaming on Twitch again. I'm not sure if I'll ever stream again in general, but if I do, it'll be here on YouTube. As for why not Twitch, they simply refused to partner me. I sent in my third partner application like three or four months ago, and for like three months after sending in the application, I was a pretty consistent streamer, easily beating all of their requirements for partnership and being generally unproblematic. And now somewhat recently, again, I've been taking streaming a lot more casually, just doing it kind of whenever I want to. And then, and then they chose this month now to respond to my partner application being like, hey, you're not streaming enough actually. So partnership denied, try again in a couple more months. So to hell with them, if they don't want me on their platform, so be it, that's their choice. I mean, I have made a bit of a community over on Twitch. I have a lot of regulars I see, and it's nice to interact with them and everything, but it just kind of feels bad that you're you're like doing everything right and Twitch is just like, eh, I don't really feel like it. Like I said, passing all the requirements for like three months straight and didn't hear a single word out of them. Then they decided to take those requirements and, and apply them to whenever they felt like it. You know, they were just waiting for their opportunity to have a reason to deny it. I don't really get it, but if that's how it's going to be, then that's how it's going to be. I have no control over it, so I just, I give up. I give up on Twitch, but yeah, I don't know. I got the rejection a couple weeks ago. It's just been kind of stewing, and I wanted to talk about it, get it off my chest, really, and explain why I won't be over on Twitch anymore. But yeah, now that all that is out of the way, let's go ahead and, uh... Hopefully not have to do too many summons here. Layla has arrived, which is cool. Out of the two, I'm probably still more interested in Miko. I just never really vibed with Tartalia. No one tell Cap that, because like he is Tartalia main, Tartalia life. I don't use Miko often either, but I generally have a bit of a better time with her anyway. We are currently at one pity. I don't think I'll even track the pity for this one because I'm hoping we don't have to, you know, go that far for a Layla. As for weapons we currently have, we have a Polar Star and Kagura's Verity. I have them both, so yeah. I was kind of hoping we might do some weapon summons, but there's no point really. I'm not looking for refinements on either of these weapons either. We do have 55 Equate Feints. I'll probably use those soon, but for my ongoing summon a random team and then play with them for a day. I really like those videos. They're quite fun to make. But anyway, we're just going to start with a tin pull here. We will click through them because any four star could potentially be Layla herself. Uh, if we get a super early one, we might go for constellations, but I'm actually only aiming for one. So we'll see. Uh, here, uh, our four stars of Favonia sword, so we're not off to a good start. Please do not be a repeat of Dory. That was a nightmare. Yeah, we need a lot of summons for Dory if I remember right. <laughs> uh, Dory was such a pain. Um, let's just really hope. I, I mean, we are like, like getting our way towards pity for the next five stars, so it's not really a massive waste unless we have to go like all the way to pity and then get like a Miko I don't really care for. Uh, so, but we'll see how it goes, I guess. Oh, there she is. Well, that was pretty early. Maybe we'll do a couple more tin pulls. We'll go to like 60 and see how many we get. I really would prefer not to have a Miko, honestly. I kind of sort of refresh my memory about what she's doing and everything, so hopefully we can just go into Constellations and see. Oh, C1's already kind of long. 20% increase uh, for the shield absorption. I did kind of have a little hope that her shield would be on the stronger side for four stars. Um, I don't. I still don't know if that's really the case. I mean, we could take a look at the multipliers. We have 10.8% at level one. I'm assuming that goes up, and that is a, not a horrible shield, actually, when I think about it. What is uh, Zhongli's? 21.8 at level 9. I don't really feel like pulling up a website, so we're actually just going to raise her a little bit and uh, see if that base absorption goes up and by how much for a level. I think already we should be able to see. Ooh, wow, it goes up a good amount as well. 10.8 to 11.6, nearly a full percent for one level. Okay, forget it, I am gonna pull up a website. That's pretty crazy. At level nine, it goes up to 18.3% of max HP and 2114 base HP. That's actually very close to Zhongli's. 
There must be something I'm missing. That doesn't make any sense. But yeah, so far, it seems like it definitely has some promise. And then back to our consolation, C1 would increase that by another 20%. The other paragraph essentially will give a shield to everyone else at 35% of its strength. So it's mainly for co-op stuff. C2 sounds not great. C3 is where you get the shield bump. So that would be pretty interesting. At C4, she seems to become something of a small buffer for normal and charge attack users. C6 increases the damage from the stars from her burst and skill, and also lowers the creation time of the stars, so firing them more often and they'll be stronger, which actually would make C2 a little bit better also. But yeah, honestly, I think I'd be happy at C1 just for the extra shield strength. Oh yeah, right. The shield strength can be strengthened further from her passive up to 24%. And then with C1, we could be looking at it actually possibly the strongest four star shield. But yeah, I don't want to speculate too hard right now before we've even raised her. We've done two tin pulls. Let's do four more or until we get the next one, whichever comes first. And if we do happen to get a five star in the next four tin pulls, then I guess it's whatever, it's fine. That was just a sacrificial sword. So I think that's probably going to be all we're getting here. Let's just skip. Yep. Next in pull, what is our four star gonna be? We're probably just gonna skip after Toma. Very cool. Oh, uh, a Toma and a Kale. Are you guys even in the banner? Okay, Toma is. We got two more tin pulls left to do. Let's see if we get lucky here. Otherwise, I'm just gonna, uh, another Toma. Okay, but that was a really early Toma. We're gonna do a couple singles if we don't get another four star here, cause uh, the next pity. Bro, you're like one of the worst four stars in the game. Okay, I know there's bludgeon now or whatever the hell it's called, Bergen. I don't care, but still, dude, get out of my face. A double Toma. All right, last 10 pull. Come on, Layla. Bow. Sword. Oh my God, a Favonius Codex. Okay, Toma, come back. We're gonna do singles until the next four star. And if it's still not her, then oh well, C0 it is. I'll summon again on a banner that I'm actually interested in next time she is on one. Is this it? Nope. I have a feeling we're going to get a five star before the four star and then it's going to be a Miko. Okay. This is it. If this isn't Layla. Oh, dude. <laughs> Whatever. I should have just stopped after I got the first one. I knew it was going to be like this. A little bit disappointing, but I guess at the end of the day, it's just, you know, a little bit more shield strength. As I like to do at the end of summon sessions, let's do a quick trial run. I don't think this will be any indication, but I am kind of curious to see what 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 the shield can absorb. Uh, I, I don't know if it just ran out or the hill trolls actually broke it. Let's check out that burst. So it should just essentially, yeah, fire off little stars. Uh, we could freeze them here just to see that cryo application it's uh definitely pretty solid i guess a little bit less solid in in super heavy aoe situations because it's only firing one at a time and it doesn't seem like they have any aoe but we can check that out again just to make sure maybe they have a tiny bit of aoe so i'm just gonna apply wet to everyone and then do her burst can he it actually looks like there's a teeny tiny bit of aoe yeah you, yeah, you can see the three numbers pop up. And yeah, so we can get the shield and then do like Achaea. And you can see we already have these four stars now. And then yeah, once you have four, they go out and target an enemy. Again, I assume these have either no AoE or very, very small AoE. But yeah, those were pretty much the summons. I don't really have too much to say about them. Uh, guess I should have stopped after the first one, but hindsight is 2020, as they say. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.